went to bed really late last night. I went to bed about half three this morning. And I'm very much regretting it now because I didn't get my full 10 hours sleep. I woke up at 10. So, seven hours. It's very tired. But my body clearly either was happy with seven hours or I was disturbed and I woke up. I don't know. But I'm currently making pancakes. So I've used the recipe. Remember, Zoe Suggs cordially invited is what recipe I use. Um, it's such a good one. I definitely recommend it. Really easy batter and super yummy pancakes. So I'm just cooking them up now. Josh is gaming because he has today off. <laughs> And the cups don't get put in correctly. Thankfully, my favourite one is not broken. But this one, however, is definitely broken. Sorry, I was <sighs> rudely interrupted. I'm making pancakes. Josh is gaming. And I am about to bring him some pancakes. Oh, yeah. The rest we have a new maple syrup today, like a I'll show you it. This you stuff. Huh? Are you taking this yourself? Are you good? Yeah. This stuff is amazing and I know that Josh is going to love it. So I made extra pancake batter because I expected he would want some this morning, which is great. Well, you thought you'd have more last night, is the truth? There's my Valentine. That's me. You know, um, this. <laughs> Watch out. Um, just so you know, this it isn't cookie dough to be made to be eaten. It's made to be cooked because it's got eggs in it. Dude, I've told you so many times that you can eat raw eggs. You just don't listen. You can eat raw egg. Okay. Yeah, you understand that. Well, I don't know if you're meant to be able to eat raw egg in that massive consumption. You can eat just people just eat raw eggs on their own. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll see how it feels later then. It'll be, it'll be the dairy that gets me, not the raw eggs. Well, there's no dairy in anything I'm making. Look, I've put pings. If you scroll up, look, there's pings. Look, signals that enemies are missing. Do you see that in the chat? <laughs> look, you've got to take some responsibility, guys. I was talking to my Valentine, all right? <laughs> Such a massive egg. Here's a funny one. He, he he makes me laugh a lot. I'm always laughing because of that man. He's a special one. But um, the plan for today is have breakfast. Josh has actually got today off because we were meant to be having friends move today, so he booked it off. But we didn't need to help them today because we helped them Wednesday night. Um, and so Josh kept it off, which is super fun. He's been working really hard lately and it's just nice for us to have a day together. He's obviously get, he's gaming because I wrote in a group chat that we're in that I probably will be up at 1pm because I went to bed at half three in the morning. Um, but I didn't because my body now hates me. Or I'm starting to get a normal amount of sleep, which to be fair is good because it means that I'm going to sleep well tonight. So there's always bonus. Oh, isn't that just pleasing? That one, not so much. <laughs> Oh, got the side lift bit. Guys, there is actually nothing more annoying than being ill. I literally have felt rubbish all week and yesterday I decided to have a day at home just chilling because I felt rubbish. And today Josh is in the other room gaming, as you would have seen earlier, and I just want to come back to bed. So I have a feeling this is going to be a very dead Valentine's. 
It's a good job Josh loves me. <laughs> in sickness and in health. So I just thought whilst I was in bed to kind of give you like a health update slash overview slash whatever. I don't know what I have said on YouTube and what I haven't. When I was younger, I, well, when I lived at home, it was kind of found out that I cannot have dairy. Um, I was sick a lot, um, would constantly be off work, not able to go in, just really feeling rubbish. Um, and that kind of happened for like two years. And then I went to the doctors and started a food diary. And that's when I realised that I was um, intolerant to dairy. Um, so that was about so I kind of discovered that and started properly cutting dairy out about three or four years ago. Not really sure. Um, but that was kind of like, okay, I need to stop eating this because it's clearly not doing my body any favours. So I did. I stopped eating it. Um, and then I discovered like these lactose pills. Um, that If I take them, then they digest the lactose for me. Um, so that I um, can still eat it. Um, so I'm kind of at the point now where my body still just does not like it. Um, and even when I take the pills, it's just a little bit like my body's like, no, stop. I still, um, I don't have instant reactions like I would if I didn't have the pill. Like if I'd, ha if I just ate dairy with nothing, my body would react straight away. Like I would know that that's what I've had. Um, Whereas with the pills, I don't get the immediate effect of illness and I don't feel physically upset in my stomach, but I am really tired, really lethargic. My joints ache, like my wrists and stuff will like ache. Um, so just lots, lots of like physical stuff that I will notice if I have dairy. So I've cut that out for the, this year. I've just decided I'm not going to have it at all and I have been really good. Although we are going out for dinner tonight at Miller and Carter and I will be having dairy because I'm not going to ruin my Valentine's meal by not eating dairy. So, But it's nice to have the option of being like, actually, I am choosing to eat this for this situation and we're going to Dubai next month. So I'm like, OK, I'm going to choose to when we go out for dinner, especially Um to take pills because it's going to be such a faff but any time I can not eat dairy then I won't so I will not eat it at home at all because I can make everything without dairy I don't need it so at the moment what is actually happening um is I am at the hospital quite a lot um lots of appointments like every three months I go for a checkup I've got something called TMJ which is like a jaw dysfunction and um, I'll put on the screen what it stands for <laughs> Um, I can't actually remember, it's quite a big word, beginning with T. Um, and that means that my muscle, I'll put a diagram of like on the screen of what your jaw is meant to look like and what it looks like with T. So that is kind of what I'm dealing with. I have a lot of ache and pain in my jaw most of the time. Um, chewing, talking, anything like that. After a while, just massive aching um sleeping like leaning on this side just really painful when they first diagnosed me with it they gave me like a mouth guard to put in my mouth every night to sleep with or um the whole reason i was actually referred to the hospital from the dentist is because i had two wisdom teeth that are growing like wonky internally so they've not pierced the surface yet but they're growing wonky and I've been putting pressure on my other teeth and it's been making it quite painful to like brush my teeth and like making my teeth quite sensitive um so that's originally why I went to the doctor went to the hospital and this is when they diagnosed me with that as well as wisdom teeth so I reckon the reason that my mouth guard isn't working as great is because my teeth are so sore from wisdom teeth being painful so I'm having surgery to have them removed but that is not fixing my TMJ my TMJ is going to be just a long-term maintenance situation unfortunately Um, I also have been diagnosed with something in my eyes a condition in my eyes that I will put on screen now I can't remember what it's called something beginning with B Um, and it just makes my eyes really dry Um, the reason I found this out is because I went to an appointment the other day um, this week 
about getting laser eye surgery and he looked at my eyes and told me that this is something I have and one of the causes for that and um, one of the symptoms is really getting dry eyes um, and I've always been given drops for dry eyes um, when I've like gone to the opticians and stuff they've always said you've got quite dry eyes but they expect you to put drops in like six times a day and I just have never remembered I just haven't remembered so because I've now been diagnosed with this condition in my eyes I need to start like actually properly doing it every day so I'm going to go to the pharmacy on Monday after I go to the hospital and get my drops and get the wipes and properly treat my eyes and stuff but yeah there's just lots of health stuff at the minute I've just got a cold I just feel run down I feel really rubbish my jaw aches my mouth hurts I'm ready for them to just fix me um, I was referred to the hospital from the dentist about a year and six months ago. So I'm ready for some of this pain in my mouth to be relieved. I'm really ready. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. And I'm hoping after the surgery it will improve my mouth quite a lot. Um, so yeah, we will see. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I will we'll feel better after the surgery it will give me a lot more freedom in my mouth um anyway i'm going to stop talking and rest now because my jaw is hurting because i'm talking so much <laughs> this is editing lauren um i've just been editing this and i just wanted to give before i finish this video a little update of where i'm at with everything um so my pre-op appointment my pre-op assessment was on monday so I should be going for surgery any day, but I am going on holiday, so it won't be for at least a month. Um, my eyes, so I've got these drops, which are called Blink Intensive Soothing Eye Drops. I have to put these in six times a day, two drops in each eye. I also have these wipes there um, and I have to wipe my eyes twice a day each eye um, I'm kind of doing it morning and night um, and then I also which I don't have on me um, it's in the bedroom and Josh is asleep so I'm not going to go in there but I have an eye mask that I have to put on for 10 minutes twice a day um, which will just kind of like melt the oil in my eyes um, and then I can like massage my eyes and it will like release it and I've noticed a massive difference so funnily enough doctors do actually know what they're talking about <laughs> which is always a good thing um, so yeah I've noticed a huge difference but I am really glad that I'm in a season of life where I'm not working because all this illness is just really overwhelming and to be having all this time doing drops and wiping up my eyes and wearing masks and I just I'm really thankful for the fact that I'm not working that I can get into a routine and actually maintain and kind of try and sort my eyes out and my jaw out and my wisdom teeth out and my dairy stuff like I'm just really thankful that I'm in a position where I can be ill and I because if I was feeling like this and working I just would struggle so much with being at work and feeling like this so I'm really grateful that I'm not working and I'm so so thankful. so that is what is happening and I didn't really close off this video because Josh and I just ended up hanging out cuddling in bed watching Wonder Woman which was so good by the way I totally recommend um and then we went out for dinner does miller and carter i'll pop some like photos in here now um but it was just really lovely and i didn't want to film because i felt rubbish and i wanted time with josh so it was super nice um so yeah thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in another one bye